Hi, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. I'm going to take you guys out there on the field and do some more diamond mining today. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to focus on. It's been a while since I've been out here, so I need to get out there and look around a little bit. I've been told that they've actually made some changes out there on the field. They've changed how the north side of the field, it would be to the right of the trail going into the first wash station. I've been told they got over there and changed that so it drains the opposite direction, drains off to the north. That's going to be something I want to get a look at today. Uh, they've also taken out some of the pine trees that had died close to the wash station. So some of that area, I'm going to take a look at that. Basically, I'm going to walk in there and sh see if I can find some good gravel to wet sift today. Maybe try and get, you know, 15, 20 buckets ran. I've got some high volume screens and a Muddy Miner Saruka. Uh, so I'll show, I'll show you guys kind of the gravel that I find. I'll show you guys how I'm working it and then uh, how I concentrate centers with that Saruka to basically try and fill a five gallon bucket of the good stuff. So let's get on in there and get started. All right, you guys can uh, you guys can see the field back there behind me. So one thing I noticed since last time I was here is that you see these furrows, these lines that are going off through the field. Those actually used to drain off at an angle toward this east drain over here, kind of off on my right side there. Uh, they've changed that. Now those things go, looks like directly south. So um, that kind of changes some of the things I've done here in the past. I've got some gravel farming videos where uh, we knew there was rain coming, so we would kind of channel a bunch of water into one furrow, and then we would throw a lot of material in there, and we would let it naturally concentrate with the rain runoff. Um, this actually may be a little bit better for that because uh, that's a pretty good area, and those furrows are now a lot longer. So that's something to kind of think about going forward out here. If I can make it down a few more times, that'll make a that'll make a pretty good pretty good day out of a. Uh, if I can if I can catch it when it's going to rain, but uh, so anyhow, you can see I've got my uh, wagon right there behind me, got it loaded up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park that wagon somewhere, and then I'm going to walk around and I'll uh, see if I can find anything that's already concent concentrated a little bit, find some gravel to run, and I'll kind of show you guys what I'm looking at when I do it. All right, for any of you guys that are new to my channel, so. Uh, I talk about getting gravel. So there's the wash station, right? So gravel is the concentrated dirt that I'm gonna carry up here. And I'm gonna show you guys a little example. You know, I've, I've got my wagon, um, but I'm, I'm really only moving like two buckets at a time. I only brought, I think I only brought like four buckets with me. So let me show you what I'm talking about when I mention gravel. All right, so there's a little pathway right here. So, you know, every road's gonna have a ditch for the most part. Um, but this is what I wanna show you right here. When I talk about looking for gravel, I'm looking for stuff like this right down here that's already had some of the silt washed away from it. So naturally, that has already been concentrated to an extent. Um, this is uh, this is something that's real close to the wash station. You know, if a person wanted to come out here, uh, wanted to get something that's really easy to get to, I mean, this is a pretty good place to look. That's not really... Uh, it's not really anything that I just absolutely wouldn't run. Like I said, it's already slightly concentrated by weather. So, I mean, you could fill a bucket up pretty quick right here. Take it up there, you'd have it washed. You'd get it thrown pretty quick. I mean, honestly, that's just a pretty good little load of gravel right here. There's some gravel right there around that rock. You can see some agates mixed in there with it. Those are seam agates. Um, yeah, this is not too bad right here. I mean, it's close. Like I said, it's, it's walking distance right there that wash station so let's see if i can show you guys it's pretty pretty lit up by the sun but you know if you look at the size of that like i said this has already been concentrated by the rain you know the water running off through here uh, sometimes when they dump those tanks some of the water might run along a furrow and you can see all, look, look at all this gravel right here so all that stuff is kind of eroding in and then you can see right here, this is what we call hard pan. This is the volcanic rock that comes up with the diamonds in it. You know, of course, this is what erodes away. You know, it's pretty soft. You can, you can scratch that away with your thumbnail or a rock. That erodes away. <clears throat> Any of the little bits of gravel and the diamonds that are contained in it are left behind. Uh, you'd actually have to break a lot of that up and run it to try and find a diamond. There's a little, little seam agate, little bitty one right there, but that kind of gives you an example. These are just from the cracks that were in that lamperite. They filled in with chalcedony. Kind of cool. I like the red ones. They're my favorite. Either way, walk around a little bit more. Get a look, see what's out here. But I'm not going to rule this out. This is real close right there. 
real close to the wash station so it's convenient quick to run doesn't look like it's got a lot of silt in it so i'm going to put that on the maybe list all right guys so i've been walking around it's been i've been in here for about an hour so it's getting close to 10 o'clock sun's getting pretty high it's about time to shed this sweatshirt but uh i've got the south wash south wash pavilion right here behind me um I've kind of walked around there's not really a whole lot of gravel so i may wash a little bit up at north and then decide to move i found just a little bit up there in fact it's what i was showing you i'm going to go ahead and just bucket that up probably won't take me very long maybe an hour so i'll get that washed go through it throw some centers see what they look like but then i'm going to probably move down here to the south side and i found something over here uh it's generally this has not really been the best material for me but there's a lot of it you guys have seen some videos where i actually take and wash some of the material out of this stream right here you can see that little stream that goes a lot right alongside the south wash pavilion um that material is kind of funny sometimes it's got stuff sometimes it doesn't but uh what i'm going to go after is on the upper side they've changed this culvert you can see that's uh, been in a couple of my videos right there but it's now it's got a retainer around it but it's got a bunch of gravel built up right there you can kind of see how that gravel you follow that around that rock right there, right along that back side. So that's something I'm pretty interested in. I'm gonna go up there, run what I've found up there close to the north. Um, there's a little bit over in the west side. I may slip over, get a couple of buckets. Um, I do love the west drain. I haven't found as many diamonds, but the material is always beautiful over there. So I'm gonna look around a little bit more. I've parked my wagon up there. Hopefully it's still there. Um, and I'm going to just basically get after it, get started. I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, guys, I'm over here. I'm back by this North Wash Pavilion. Got my shovel, got a couple buckets. If you didn't know, if you're new to my channel, kind of one of the tips to make things easier on you out here, always carry two buckets at a time, one on each hand, because it helps balance you out. You can walk a lot easier over this rough terrain. Um, you remember, this is all outside. You know, this is uh, lots of furrows to step over and stuff. Nothing says you got to fill your buckets all the way to the top. You know, a couple of full buckets weighs quite a bit, especially if it's wet. So even if I'm carrying, like you're allowed to carry out a five gallon bucket of centers, well, that's also equal to two half filled five gallon buckets of centers because centers are all your heavies from your Soroka and they are heavy. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, I'm gonna jump down this little ditch. It goes alongside the road right here, kind of scoop some of this gravel up. I got them two buckets. I got a couple of buckets up there at the wash station in my wagon, uh, catch them centers in. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So a couple of the other things that are out here, you've heard me mention the agates that are out here. So this is really kind of cool. You can see there's some translucence, translucence to that. I don't know if it's picking it up very well in the video, but it's also got a kind of a little vug on the side that's full of druzy right there. You can kind of see that. If I clean that out, that's actually going to be really sparkly and pretty. Most of that's pretty clean. You can see there's kind of some banding in that. That's another one of those seam agates. So that's just kind of one of the bonus things that's down here at the crater. So uh, that one's going in the backpack coming home with me. I'm going to probably try and find a way to slice some of these open. Occasionally, you'll find these with amethyst. Um, there is amethyst down there on Canary Hill, and you will also find amethyst in some of these seam agates out here. So I've seen some of these that were busted up and tumbled, and they were absolutely gorgeous. So anyhow, I'm going to show you what I'm scooping out of this ditch real quick. So when I'm down here scooping the gravel out of this ditch, I'm, I'm basically wanting to get anything that's had the silt flushed out of it. But there's really no reason to get these big rocks. So I can go ahead and move those rocks out of the way, but I'm not going to just toss them. Of course, obviously, there might be kids or you know people around you wouldn't want to hit. But when I'm done, I'm going to throw them rocks back in here. The reason being is because when there's water flowing through this, it's going to kind of help make some turbulence in that water and it's it's kind of like a diamond trap you know when you've got rocks in these furrows or in these ditches they're going to help kind of stir that water as it runs over it gives that heavy gives the the heavy somewhere to kind of settle out behind them and i'm just going to scoop out as much of that concentrated that naturally concentrated gravel as possible try and get all the way down to the bottom without digging into that lamp right Wasn't much really in that pile, but there's more down here. So I'm just going to kind of work my way down.
right, so you can kind of get the gist of what I'm doing here, just cleaning that out. So I'm just going to continue on down. Um, it's pretty mucky right there. There's probably a little bit of gravel on the bottom of that. Not going to worry about it too much. But there's plenty more as I go down through there. It's piled up. So I'll get that bucketed up. See you guys back at the wash station. All right, here we are. This is going to be my home for a couple hours washing material. Got my screen set up right here. Got my first two buckets setting up at one of these shorter wash tanks right here beside me. So uh, we'll get started with it. Okay, so if you guys are new to my channel, this is what we call wet sifting down here. So we're gonna take our material, we're gonna put it through a set of screens. Most of these screens work about the same. You've got a larger screen size on the top. You're gonna to have a smaller screen size on the bottom. So this one right here is a quarter inch. This is 16 mesh. Um, what this does is basically just helps get the big rocks out and the silt out, and it's gonna leave your gravel behind. So uh, I'm gonna, these are big screens. I can put a five gallon bucket through them at a time. So it shouldn't take me too long to get through some material.
Okay, I'm in my third spot over here, and this is just about halfway in between the two wash pavilions that they've got out here. So I'm gonna take you and show you what I'm getting into right here. Just a little bit of stuff, ain't a whole lot of it, but it's easy to get to, it's right here beside this road. Let me switch y'all around here. All right, so you guys can see this little road goes right by me. And there's just a little bit of stuff out here. Some of it's got some silt over it, but if you kind of take, you can punch down into it, some places there's a little bit of gravel, wasn't much gravel right there, but you can see there's, I don't know how well you can see that. There's a little bit of gravel right here along this edge of it. Got silt over the top, and then you get over here and there's a little bit under there. Just a little bit of it. But, I mean, this goes all the way up. You kind of see some gravel built up right there. So there's gravel in here. Uh, don't know how good it's gonna be. Like I said, for the sake of time, um, I'll just scoop this stuff up real quick. And I'll show you guys what's in the centers when I throw them. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wash these last two buckets of material and I'll kind of explain what I'm doing as I'm going. Um, so you guys can kind of see the method of it if you haven't seen this before, if it's the first video you've watched. So let me show you what I've got here. All right, so I've got a two piece, I've got a two piece screen. Uh, it's quarter inch on top and it's 16 mesh on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this material through that top screen into the bottom screen. I'm gonna check through this top screen. If there's a really big diamond, it's gonna be in here. It should be pretty easy to spot. I don't see anything in there that catches my eye. So that goes dumped out. Now I'm gonna wash all the silt out of that bottom screen and it's just gonna leave the gravel behind. Time to surround. Yeah. 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 
That's going to concentrate all my heavies right there into the middle of this called the center and that's where your diamond's going to be is somewhere in that concentration. So I have a bucket where I'm keeping my centers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop that center out, put it on this bucket and take it home. I'll probably cut it by eighth inch so I can search through it a little bit easier. Pretty good chance I'll find a diamond if I run enough buckets. All right, so there is my bucket of centers. That's all the heavies that I pulled out. Uh, doesn't look like much, but that's about 10 five gallon buckets worth. Yeah, it's about four inches deep right there. So gives me a little bit to go through. I still need to cut it by eighth, but uh, you can see I've got some agates and pretty rocks in there. So uh, yeah, we'll call it a day. Okay guys, I have pretty well finished up. I think I ended up getting 10 buckets total carried over there and washed um since i haven't been here a while i'm probably going to call it good for today and maybe look around just a little bit more get an idea how some of the water's moving now that they've changed some of the furrows if you enjoyed the video uh i hope you found it useful if you would like and subscribe that'll help kind of get me out there a little bit more and get more people to where they can see these videos on youtube thank you